Hey everybody, Jamie here. Thank you so much for the birthday love this past week. With all the wishes you've given me, I thought I would grant a wish that you've been requesting again for a while. Simple but affordable and adorable room decor. So get ready as I show you how to make your own winter decorations with my puffy paint window decals. Let's do it, girl. For your window decorations, all you're going to need is three-dimensional puffy paint in a variety of colors, tape, and wax paper or a plastic baggie. I told you this was going to be simple. I'm also going to grab some glitter, string, and glue for decorating purposes. Are you ready to make a window winter wonderland? Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> All right, step one. The first step is to choose your winter template. Now I'm going to be making three different types just to get your creative juices flowing, but then of course let your imagination run wild from there. The first is an intricate snowflake pattern, the second is a snowman pattern, and the third are the words Happy New Year. That's right, I'm getting a head start. You can draw your templates from scratch with a dark permanent marker, or you can be like me and print out everything from the computer. The next step is to lay your template flat on the table and place your waxed paper or plastic baggie right over it. Tape it into place if need be so it doesn't slide around. Then simply trace your template using your puffy paint. I'm going to use white for the snowflake and sprinkle some glitter on for a sparkling effect. For the snowman, I'm going to create all of the pieces separately, from the black hat and boots to his orange nose to his white snowball body. And for the words Happy New Year, I'm going to try to write the phrase backwards. What? Backwards? Separating snowman body parts? What's Jamie thinking? I'll show you right after the next step, which is to let the paint dry. Yeah, the puff paint may be ready for you in about an hour or two, but I say just be patient here and give it a full day to dry. This craft is really good to do at night, so then that way it's all ready for you in the morning. The last step is to peel off your puffy paint decorations from the wax paper or plastic baggie using your fingers. The paint should peel right off, but if it's giving you any trouble, go ahead and wait a little bit longer to see if the paint needs to dry any further, or go ahead and grab a really thin spatula in order to peel it right off. Yay, it's time to display my decorations. For the words Happy New Year, I'm simply going to stick it onto the window so everybody can see it from the street. Now I wrote the words out backwards because that way everybody outside can see the words written forwards. But of course you can write it out normally for a mirror or a kitchen window or someplace that only you can see. I'm going to stick my snowman onto the window as well. Now I separated the pieces because I think this could be a really fun craft to share with your younger siblings. You could put all the pieces together in a fun way like a puzzle or just play a sort of pin the hat on the snowman sort of game. Finally, for my snowflake, instead of sticking it to the window, I'm going to add a bit of super glue to connect the two flat ends together in order to create a more 3D look. Then I'll punch a little hole in the center and loop some thread through in order to make a puff paint ornament. Look how it shines with the glitter. These are such great winter decals and just in the nick of time for the holidays. You can go ahead and stick it to the window of your house or your car or you can hang it on your tree, in your locker or just around your room. There's no end in sight when it comes to decorating. And now that you have a bunch of puppy paint left over, you can go ahead and try my DIY puzzle piece necklace or give my stained glass jar lights a try. And in this video, I even show you how to make your own puppy paint from scratch. So go ahead and puff your stuff. Uh, that one's rough. Enough is enough. Why can I not stop rhyming? What type of puffy paint decoration did you make? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. Answering your puffy paint for good best. Will the colors from the paint decoration stain the window? Well, I've had mine up for a little while now, and nothing's happened just yet, but I did hear that rumor from other DIYers. I say play it safe and just move around your decals every couple of days or so. How much does this craft cost and how long does it take? Well, each bottle of puffy paint is about $2, so this craft cost me $10, and it took me a full day as I waited for the puff paint to dry. Now go get decorating. Yippa Wenry, everybody.